Hi, my name is Przemek Chojecki and this is part two of Leading Academia and going into business. And I wanted to talk more about what are the hassles, what are the problem of actually making that decision. So in my case and considering all the other my friends did and how they felt, the hardest thing is actually feeling this uh, syndrome of being a loser, of actually doing a wrong choice in your life because you spent so many years trying to become a scientist and now you're losing it all especially if you're after phd if you're a couple of years into the postdoc uh, or into your assistant professorship then actually it's really really hard to make that decision and quit academia because you are so invested into uh, academia and you're going to feel like a loser and it's super natural so don't worry about it uh, it uh, felt really natural for me as well uh, i felt a loser for almost a year two years maybe after leaving the academia uh, and yeah i lost control uh, contact with almost all of my friends from uh, the the academic circles uh, and the reason for that is academia is a bubble and it's super hard to go go outside and then try to come back uh, you're, li you're literally living in isolation uh, i'm talking here mostly about uh, the purest science the fundamental science because especially in applied sciences in economics uh, in engineering you have much more uh, to do with uh, the application side so you won't feel that but especially in like pure mathematics uh, maybe fi philosophy, uh, soci sociology, psychology, and so on. You're just on your own in this academic bubble and you don't know how the commercial world look like. And the older scientists won't help you navigate in through, through the real world. Uh, it's mostly also for them the unknown because they have spent their whole career working in academia. So it's really hard to make that choice and decide that you want to go out of academia because you don't know where you're going. You're probably isolated. Unless you have friends who already make the switch, you don't know what to expect. And even if you have many friends uh, who are working commercially in, uh, in business as I had, it's really hard to make this leap of faith that you'll be better off in some other career choice and actually it won't be the end of the world. But the truth is, it really doesn't matter. I mean, uh, academia is only one of the careers, one of the infinity many careers that you can choose from. And if you're not happy in academia, then probably it's not the right choice for you and you should consider a change. Uh, it's, there are many careers, you can do many, many things that will be interested in. You can just pick and choose between what you can do, what are your hobbies, what are your passions, and try to work with your skills on some things that you feel will have more impact on the world, will give you more pleasure in the end. So. Don't worry about feeling bad uh, leaving academia because there are so many more uh, interesting things that you can find in the outside world. And definitely you will feel bad, but that will only last for a couple of months and maybe up to two years. But then once you quit, uh, you'll be better off uh, and feeling re really grateful for making that choice. As I feel right now, this is already uh, basically couple of years after I made the decision that I that I want to quit academia and go into business and I really feel good about it. Uh, I really feel that my passion right now for entrepreneurship, for building the, uh, the educational content as well is really growing. I feel really great about it because I have more freedom in how I can uh, approach different building the materials. For example, this YouTube video is also, I would never do it if I were in academia because I would feel ashamed to put something like that uh, on YouTube because it was all about build, build, writing more scientific papers, doing more research in pure mathematics and not being out there. This is not one of the standard ways what you would do if you are um, an academic, if you are a researcher. So it definitely Leaving academia definitely gave me more options, more choices, and I'm super happy about uh, doing that uh, because it, it really feel, it feels great. I mean, I'm really happy about the choices I made um, and where I am right now and how my career is developing right now. So if you ha have doubts about your academic career, try to write pros and cons um, and don't worry if you feel like um, loser for leaving academia this is a natural feeling uh, especially if you're in this academic bubble thank you for watching if you have any questions leave them down below i'd be happy to answer uh, to anything and don't forget to subscribe and like this video